All right, we are back to dusk in, El in Elusia. No, it's not Elusia. I, I forgot Elysium Tale. I think it's called. Oh, here's the kid. Here's the kid. What do you got to tell me? No, go away! The kid is scared, and he's dropping stuff for me. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts. And it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Okay, they... Oh shit. How do I get rid of them? I can't do shit. So basically I'm gonna have to just run it. Just book it. Go like that. Uh, mushrooms are kind of uh, terrible. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn mushrooms. Shit. Okay, now this is getting rather difficult now. There's gonna be this. I better not be able to fight anything while doing this because that's gonna definitely break my chain. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Nope. Fuck. I was up there. Alright. We got this. Shit. Alright. We're good. We're good. Oh, we got shop. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what do you got? Got more healing stuff. Anything of equipment wise? Doesn't look like it. Oh, except for here. Uh, let's see. Uh, new. I'm still using the better one. And my jacket. Ooh, he got different rings now, though. Uh, two times item drop. Ooh. Okay, so I'm using two attack. Uh. Two attack and four defense. Yeah, these are better. These are better. Me, two of them. Your trends. What? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we'll put in this, and then we'll put in that. And what is this? Two luck, and we got two, ten attack. And oh, I might still make that. If I might still. All right, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. I see you. Oh shit! I fell down. Well, I guess that's where I'm supposed to go. Right, goddamn mushrooms. Goddamn mushrooms. Oh, here's a save. That's good. So I'm getting somewhere. I see you. Oh, you're still gonna go and try to attack me. I don't care. I'm safe. Oh, here we go, enemies. Come on. Give me those combos. Give me those combos. Alright. Alright, but basically I want to talk about, since I know a lot of people, I know I had a couple messages said before, it's like, why do you say stuff from, you repeat from other videos? Not everything, not everyone watches the same thing. Shit, I got hit. I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't really paying attention. I, th I just thought he died. But uh, not everyone watches uh, the same thing. Because like, some people are like here for the, for the Minecraft stuff. Some other people are just here for the for the other stuff, Last Remnant. Like not everyone watches uh this video or watches that, etc., etc. You know. So that's why I say stuff like uh, I've started back Age of Empires online again, and, and I'm playing the Babylonians, which is definitely a big improvement of what I was playing from the Celtics. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh great. Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. This battle will be over before it begins. Shit. That was a cheap shot. Shit. Let's get him. Alright, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. What is this? You've been poisoned. 
Oh great, if they poison me too? Your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. Alright, whatever. God damn it. Let's go. Let's go, alright, got him. Got him. And he's still running away. And there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him. And maybe get out of this raining death. Uh, I know, right? This is killing me. Let's get out of here. Gamer picture unlocked. Awesome. I can use another gamer picture. Alright, Mudbot. Good old Mudbot. Oh, sheepies! I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Hop on over? Sure. Hop in fences because I'm Mexican. I want to kill the sheep. I need to kill the sheep. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, well. I'll just tell Alex they trampled on his crops. There he is! Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! Those things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. How to jump my fence? I'm Mexican. She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Yeah, I know Fidget could fly, and I could, you know, uh, jump fences because I'm Mex Mexican, you know? Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon, and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. <laughs> I don't want their help! Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama! Maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves. 
makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Wooden spoon of justice, that's all I can say. Let's see what we got. He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Wooden spoon of justice. <laughs> I'll tell Alex that for sure. Alright, who's got side quests in here? In this town? You got a quest. What is it? What? Me? It's a flying cat! <sighs> she's not a cat, little girl. She's a... I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt! I'm a nimbat! Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello! My name's Bidget. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! Hmm... Tell you what, next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew, good idea, Dust. You know that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> Alright, quest added. Alright, quest added. Let's uh, check over here first. Let's go up. Let's go up. Everything. Oh, here's a quest. Quest! Well, hi to there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spike of rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut-up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, <laughs> I'll be sure to pick it up. Hidden stick. Do I have the hidden stick on me? Or no? You don't find my stick? No? Well, what are you doing <laughs> standing around here? How am I supposed to hit things without my special hidden 